Hey everybody, Kyle here, Techno Trainer for McNeil, and I just wanted to talk a little bit about when to use sub D and when to use NURBS. I'm playing with this little hot rod model. I'm got kind of interested in old 60s bubble top hot rods and decided it would make kind of a cool rendering demo. So I'm in the process of actually building this model, which you'll see more of in the future. But um, and I was laying the body out in sub D and if we look at the sub D you can see that we basically have a very simple layout if I go to my box mode you can see that everything is fairly well organized I don't see any terrible sins here that I didn't catch nothing crazy crossing over or anything like that um, things that you would be looking for would be things like this we don't want to see that kind of stuff in box mode so I think I think I did a fairly good job following my own advice um, there's a little this polygon is a little tortured maybe that one is asking for another edge loop in here but for now if I just pop over to smooth mode it actually is coming together pretty nicely and looks and looks okay the the thing that I wanted to talk about and this was an issue I came up with um, is this this hole in the back and there's a temptation when you're in sub D is to get so deep into sub D that everything has to be sub D right now granted I could I could probably select this edge increase it and then figure out some way to throw like crazy end gons or anything in here but if you look I've got one edge down here and I've got two edges up here two edges up here and I've got two edges out here now these two edges bridge to those edges no problem if I do uh, if I do two segments or three segments or four segments in between here I've got a mismatch top to bottom now the simple fix would be to simply just add another edge down here but I really don't want to do that um, if I add another edge then I have to chase it all the way back through the model and you know uh, and I could actually chase it from here all the way under the model all the way up into here and then I would have an equal number of edges or I could have one of these patches back here be an end gone or 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 <laughs> I could just say this is as far as I need to go in sub D right I don't really care about whether this hole is filled or not and in this case what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run two nerves I'm going to not delete my input because I keep a little layer down here called sub D bits where I keep stuff like this that I'm working on in case I need to go back later if I run into something and say you know there's an edit or you know the client comes back and says something or changes your mind in this case the clients me so um, if I come back <laughs> and say later like I don't like the way that thing looks I want to have the option of being able to get back to my sub D and mess with it um, so I'll just go ahead and run it and then I'm gonna end up with the NURBS object, right? One open poly surface. What do we do with open poly surfaces? We close them up in a number of different ways. And one of the easiest ways to close them up is to simply, I'm going to change degree here to get a degree three curve, the four points that are evenly distributed. If you've seen any of my classes, you've seen me do this a million times. Um, and I'm going to just make a little surface here. I'm going to, I'm going to work in shaded mode. And then I'm going to drag, holding shift to drag in both directions. I'm going to change degree on this guy. And then I'm going to turn the points on for the center of this. And then I'm going to add a little bit of crown. And then I'm going to just adjust that intersection. This is all NURB stuff, right? We know all this. This is all stuff that we know. People who are new to Ryan were like, wait a minute, I've never heard of this before. Um, yeah, so simple overbuild, right? We're just going to grab this, trim, 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 and look, our hole that we were going to worry so much about in sub D to try and figure out what to do with is now closed up and ready to go and sharp, and we don't have any topology issues, and our model still looks great, and this is a closed poly surface, and all of our problems are solved for now, right? So the the reason I show this right is I wanna and I saw this when I was back in T-Spines a million years ago is that everybody gets a shiny new tool right everybody gets a new hammer and then everything looks like a nail 
And what I want to remind you is SubD is just part of your toolkit. Make sure that you're using it where it's appropriate. Don't pound in screws with your shiny new hammer. Use a screwdriver, right? In this case, use NURBS. Use curves. Use all of the stuff that you already know how to do. Use Booleans, right? So I'm going to delete this and show you kind of where I am with this right now. And so I took my sub D object. I needed some little reveals for where the frame was going to go and a transmission tunnel and all that kind of stuff. This stuff is all NURBS, right? So don't don't make yourself insane trying to come up with sub D topology in order to get this shape. Just get the sub D, sub D to where it needs to be so that you get your overall form and then do your detailing in NURBS. It's one of the beautiful things about how Rhino uh, has integrated sub D into its tool set. So um, sometimes people, you know, feel like they can't break the rules or whatever. I'm, I'm here to tell you that the rules are use everything in your toolkit. All right. Don't don't stay focused on one tool so much that you spend hours trying to figure out, well, how am I going to build the topology for a transmission tunnel? Don't cut it in with nerves. <laughs> All right. So make sure that you're using everything that Rhino has to offer so that you end up with better models than you would have had you not had those tools to start with. So um, so I'll leave you with that. Uh, just a quickie today. Hope everything is going well and you're loving Sub D and Rhino 7 as much as I am. I'm Kyle Houchins. I'm a tech and a trainer for McNeil. Go make great stuff.